I wasn't feeling myself much this summer. That is, until we arrived here. This particular morning was one that felt cool and damp, cool enough to wear a sweater and drink warm tea. The perfect remedy for that cozy feeling I'd been craving. I got some good ones. Oh, heck yeah. Thank you. Yeah, they're a little dirty though. We had just arrived at this secluded cabin in the woods just outside Asheville, North Carolina, and it felt like stepping into autumn. It is 65 degrees outside. No, I think it's 67 or 68, but close enough. It's fall weather. <laughs> I cannot even contain my excitement. Truly though, this day is so cozy. I can't believe how cool it is up here in the mountains. Don't get me wrong though. I have been really loving and enjoying summer this year, but I don't know. Something feels different this year. I feel this yearning in my heart for autumn more than I ever have in summers past. I don't know if it's just because we're getting closer to August. And for me, when kids go back to school and I start watching You've Got Mail, and you know, bouquets of sharpened pencils, all of that, it, it's fall for me. This is kind of normal, but at the same time, it's not. Usually the end of July, I'm still very much loving summer. I was a bit conflicted about what to film for this video because coming up here to this cabin, I'm in full fall mindset, but I know that not all of you guys probably want to see fall videos in July. So for you guys, I wanted to stay like summery, but I just don't think I can do that. I need to be true to myself and how I'm feeling. So I've decided today we are just going to have a cozy pre-fall cozy day at the cabin. Oh, it is getting really dark. <laughs> Looks like we might have some rain rolling in. I just want to be cozy, so that's what we're going to do today. <gasps> it's raining. As the rain began to fall, I knew we had the perfect recipe for a cozy autumn day. I can't get enough of the comfort that I feel when opening a good book while the rain patters gently on the window pane and the air feels cold enough to bundle up in a warm blanket. I think it's also about time to start Gilmore Girls again. We packed up the car and the plan was to head further into the mountains to take a dip in a nearby lake. The journey was complete with road trip snacks, taking the longer windy roads to enjoy the scenery, and a good true crime podcast. And almost kind of like partially ritualized yeah. looking, so it would be like even eerier because you're out in the middle of the woods. Yeah. yeah. Since the weather cleared up a little bit, we decided we're gonna go jump in a lake and I actually kind of hope it rains while we're at the lake. Realizing on this drive, we're getting quite into 
the mountains, like the back country area. We've seen signs for bat caves, bear crossing. There's a massive Bigfoot in someone's front yard. Tons of beautiful cabins though. I've been in your waters. Been knocking at your door. I know one thing for sure I've never been so close before It's one way or the other No way in between The drive back to the cabin was beautiful and gave us the feeling of driving through a cloud. But after driving all that way in our wet clothes and swimsuits, it was time for a warm bath. And of course, more reading of spooky books. Upon perusing the DVD selection, we realized it comprised mostly of horror films. This felt a little weird, as we're in a secluded cabin in the middle of acres upon acres of private woods and only a groundskeeper nearby, but I think they just know that maybe sometimes people like to come to a place like this for the full spooky experience. And I appreciate that. Guys, this rain is so magical. It's making me so happy. I feel like as soon as the weather changes and it starts to feel cool, my mood is just <laughs> so improved. I've talked a lot about my struggles with mental health and anxiety specifically, and how therapy has been a huge factor in helping me climb out of this hole that anxiety has kind of dug me in or felt like it has put me in for the past year or so. So before we continue on with the rest of the video, I wanna take a minute to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. Regardless if you have clinical mental health issues like depression or anxiety, or if you're just a human living in this world, going through a hard time. Therapy can give you tools to approach life in a different way. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. And that's an important mission because finding a therapist can be really hard, especially when you're limited to the options only available in your area. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online, it's remote, and by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you with a professional therapist in as little as a few days. And because finding a therapist can be like dating, if you don't really fit with that therapist, which is a common thing with therapy, you can easily switch to a different therapist for free without stressing about insurance, who's in your network or anything like that. If you are someone who struggles with your mental health like I have, I do highly recommend looking into therapy if that's something you've never considered before. It has been so beneficial for me. Consider online therapy with BetterHelp so you can connect with the therapist and see if it's beneficial to you. And it's incredibly easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist I have a link that you can go to down in my description. It's betterhelp.com slash Desi. Clicking that link supports my channel, but it also gives you 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. You can click the link down in the description or go to betterhelp.com slash Desi. Thank you again to BetterHelp for supporting my channel. Now let's continue on with the rest of the video. Fancy s'mores. Would you make me a call if you're too? I don't want to head out half asleep. Swallowed a cannonball. <laughs> 
my dream And it's pulling me back underneath my sheets It's freezing out the morning blues Well I'm here, I ain't no coward I was never hiding from you I've been ruined. Now I can't go back to regular s'mores. I have a lot of book sleeves because I have a lot of books and I like to kind of match the books with the book sleeves. I use them all the time whenever I want to go read at a cafe, anywhere. I always put my book in a book sleeve because it protects it so well. So I went to a fabric store and got some perfectly autumnal fabric that I want to use to match some of these spooky books that I'm reading. I have the lake house and then I have you're not supposed to die tonight and then I have the stitchers which is so cute I actually just finished this one it has major Nancy Drew vibes these two kids notice that the elderly people in their neighborhood never seem to age no matter how old they get and they're thinking maybe they are Frankensteins or vampires and they set out to solve this case of why they are still living and it was so phenomenal. So I might not be making a sleeve for that one since I already finished it, but I definitely wanna make sleeves for these two. I love this ghost one because it has a cabin in the woods that looks exactly like the cabin we're staying at. And we have been hearing quite a lot of activity in the woods, which, you know, is probably just animals. But I like to imagine that maybe there are friendly ghosts out in the woods. The plaid one doesn't exactly match the books, but it was so autumnal, I couldn't not pick it up. And do I have a sewing machine here? No, I do not. Did I even know that I wanted to make these book sleeves? a day or so ago. No, I didn't. So I bought liquid stitch. This is gonna be a no-sew activity. We're just gonna try our best and hope that things turn out. I think they will. As long as you go in optimistic, I think you can make magic happen. It's a fog, it's making me foggy. And then back here there was this, this bird and it was all very Hitchcock for a second. I wish I could tell you that this is a tutorial, give you step-by-step -step instructions, but honestly, I had no clue what I was doing. The idea was to cut out fabric a few inches bigger than my books, attach them to cotton padding, and then liquid sew them and it should work, right? I pretty much just stopped measuring and went with my imagination. And you know what? I think that's actually my favorite way to start anything. Don't think about it too much. Don't overanalyze. Just have fun. What? I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing. If you've never used a book sleeve before, I highly recommend you give them a try. Not only are they like cute little houses for your books, but you can customize them to match the seasons or the stories you're reading. These are far from perfect, but I'm really pleased with how they turned out. Have you ever heard of candy salad? There's something I've just learned about. I decided we're gonna make a trick or treat candy salad with my favorite candy as an adult, Swedish gummy candy. You know that feeling of just arriving back after a night of trick or treating, and you pour all of your candy out of its bag and eventually it all ends up in a bowl, kind of like this. But instead of snacking on this throughout the upcoming week as I would with my Halloween candy, we've got a Scooby-Doo movie ready to go, freshly popped popcorn, and this trick-or-treat candy salad. And we're ready to hunker in for the night as another rainstorm rolls in. So we decided to 
decided that our spooky movie tonight is gonna be Scooby-Doo and the Ghoul School. Stormy Nights are for Scooby-Doo. Before we watch, I wanted to do a little taste test with you guys because I have never tried a bunch of these. I've heard that Swedish candy is just the best and I'm actually pretty sure that the people in Sweden eat more candy than any other population. I'm kind of hyping it up in my brain and I don't know if it's actually gonna be that good. I'm gonna start with the extremely sour skulls. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so sour. When I say I like sour candy, this is what I mean. Oh my gosh. That's really sour, but so good. And this is apple, it's not lime. I think these are bubblegum flavored skulls. Mmm, the texture is so good. That's really good. And then sour watermelon. That is really nice. It's like a lighter, more natural watermelon flavor than we usually have. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Sour tongues. Mmm. Very soft. Oh my gosh. Sour is really good, but I don't love the flavor. Okay, and then these bubs. I think the texture is gonna be really good on these. Mm -hmm. I think these are raspberry flavored. This texture is so good. Our candy doesn't have this good of a texture. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I got these little flowers because they were so cute. Mm. Why does that actually taste like a flower? Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's orange. I'm not a huge fan of this one. We have this type of texture on like the blue and white whale gummies that you can get here. And I don't love the flavor. These are sour coins. Oh, also very chewy. Very sour. Oh, I like these. Those are good. And then my favorites are these little skulls. This is my favorite candy ever, ever, ever. I discovered it this past summer and I'm obsessed. No candy is as good as this one. Oh my gosh, these are dangerously addictive. I order them way more often than I like to admit. But I've never tried the blueberry ones. Mm. I don't like those. Tastes like a little bit bitter to me. I don't know. Not my favorite. I think I'm definitely gonna be buying Swedish candy from now on. I can't go back now. I can't go back. We need them all for our Halloween open house. It's a beautiful day for a field trip. <laughs> yeah, just smell that fresh air. It's like I've been transported to autumn. Ouch! <laughs> Why am I the way that I am? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh no. Gosh, I'm struggling. It's giving Anne of Green Gables goes to a cabin. I love you. <laughs> I don't know if Anne would read like really spooky books, but I kind of feel like she would. I feel like she'd be all about like spooky books. That's why you don't go in the middle of the- oh my gosh. That, that scared me so. <laughs> why would you have like a massive big front in your front yard like that? Yeah, the people driving at night are like, what the freak? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 